G'day students, welcome back to sport and this is actually week 8 of the term now and for the junior year levels I know it feels like it's it's only about week 7 but the term did start a week before the junior school was, was back officially. Um, so we're actually in week 8 of a 10 week term and we're also in our third week of actually completing our um, session on improving the skill that we chose for our chosen sport. So I shouldn't spend a lot of time at all talking about how to actually complete your warm up, your main set, and then your cool down because you guys have done it already for two weeks. So I'm gonna throw two challenges at you this week. If you are in your third session, you shouldn't be doing the same thing as the previous two. You should be starting to see some progress now. And if you just continue to do the same thing, all you're gonna get is maintenance and not improvements. So I throw this challenge at you. Have a look at some of the aspects that you're completing within your, your session. So for example, if you are actually completing something like a tennis serve and you're breaking it down into the ball toss and the high elbow, uh, high elbow as part of your racket and then making contact and then trying to land on a target, there's a few things you can do. You can try and complete that ball toss to a same height. So you could record yourself and see where that ball is going and try and really define the power you're giving to the ball toss and make it consistent. You could also change the size of your target that you're trying to serve into to a much smaller target. If you're completing basketball dribbling as part of your skill, maybe try and add the element of eyes up if you haven't already done that. And if you want to, move on to your non-dominant hand to make the dribbling a little bit harder. Maybe you're doing some stationary dribbling and start dribbling between your legs. I'm challenging you to make your session harder and more challenging this week. The second challenge I'm going to throw at you is this, and I know that there's some technical difficulties and this might not be possible, but I'd love to see as many of you trying this as possible. And that is to actually film a part of your circuit and session and send that through to your teacher. Whether your teacher requests it to be uploaded to learning task or emailed it directly to themselves, it's really important that you keep these videos short so that they fit within the email confines. Some people have also uploaded to Google Docs or a Google Drive before and gained access to their teacher to be able to go and see it. And I'm really challenging you to work on your ICT skills to be able to show your teacher what what you've actually been doing, not just in a screenshot, snapshot, in real life, we want to see it in practice. So don't stress if you can't, but we really want to see as much as possible of the students actually getting involved with the sessions they've written for the third out of four sessions. Good luck.